Doing this will be more hurtful than maintaining no contact after they discard you. Everyone, today we're plunging headfirst into the mysterious abyss of how a narcissist grapples with the aftermath of a breakup. Brace yourself for a mind-bending expedition as we untangle the web of complexities that shroud the post-breakup psyche of these enigmatic beings. Narcissists, the virtuosos of duality, kick off their relationships with a spellbinding spectacle of idealization. Picture it, a grandiose display of affection, promises that could rival the most epic of tales. Yet, hold tight as this narrative takes a theatrical nosedive. Behold the transformation into architects of deception, conducting smear campaigns that would make even Machiavelli raise an eyebrow. It's a mesmerizing dance, swinging between the harmonious serenade of love and the biting clutches of deceit. So, fasten your seatbelts as we navigate the convoluted terrain of narcissistic post-breakup psychology, peeling back the layers of a narrative that's as unpredictable as it is perplexing. Get ready to immerse yourself in a roller coaster of emotions and revelations. Navigating the stormy seas of a narcissistic relationship can feel like attempting to tame a raging storm. It's tempting to envision an entity like the World Health Organization monitoring their tumultuous impact on our lives, treating them as if they were a contagion in need of containment. If you resonate with this sentiment, consider giving that like button a gentle tap. It's our unspoken pact, our signal on this enlightening voyage through understanding and recovery. So what transpires in the world of a narcissist after a breakup? The aftermath can be a complex emotional landscape, especially if you've initiated no contact or they've blocked you on social media and their phones. It's common for narcissists to initiate breakups, leaving you without closure, maintaining the option to return at their whim. However, commendable choices are also made when you take the initiative and end the relationship first. Yet the crux lies in the narcissist's perception. They initially view their partners as saviors believing that one person can be the solution to their myriad of problems. However, can one individual truly be the answer when faced with a multitude of issues and inner demons? You are not a miracle worker. They require extensive therapy and perhaps even a few metaphorical exorcisms, not a relationship with you. Returning to the concept of discarding, what truly rattles a narcissist is when you become unbothered. When you withdraw the attention and control they crave, you dismantle their very essence. It's worth noting that narcissists, in many ways, are akin to overgrown children. So when we speak of discarding, we're discussing the dismantling of their core identity. The one thing they can't handle is your indifference, a powerful stance on the path to healing. When dealing with narcissists, it's crucial to emphasize that narcissists have no effective response to this. They are adept at seeking alternative sources of attention and swiftly redirecting their focus onto someone else, making it challenging for them to face the consequences of their actions. The aftermath of a breakup with a narcissist is a complex dance of emotions and behaviors. But understanding these dynamics can empower individuals to regain control over their lives. However, it's essential to be unequivocal about a crucial aspect, closure, as we traditionally conceive it, isn't something a narcissist will willingly offer. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The very idea of closure suggests the closing of a door, a finality they inherently resist. What genuinely stymies them is when you take the initiative to sever ties first and commit to a state of total non-engagement. When you reach a point where you're utterly unperturbed, where their actions and whereabouts no longer ruffle your feathers, that's when they find themselves at a loss, the reason. They thrive on your emotional investment. They need you to care. Navigating the aftermath of a relationship with a narcissist requires a conscious effort to break free from their emotional manipulation. It involves recognizing the power that comes from disengaging and focusing on personal well-being. By understanding that closure may not come from the narcissist and that taking control of one's emotions is the key, Individuals can embark on a journey of healing and self-discovery. It's a process that requires strength, resilience, and a commitment to prioritizing one's own mental and emotional health. Even after removing yourself from their immediate sphere, 
The narcissist's craving for any evidence of your distress persists. Their desire fueled by your emotional turmoil, broadcasted on social media, or any public display of vulnerability. It is precisely for this reason that we recommend taking a hiatus from social platforms post-separation. Narcissists, in their desperation, may resort to dubious tactics, such as creating pseudonymous profiles or sending friend requests from suspiciously bare accounts in an attempt to regain a foothold. However, what proves insurmountable for a narcissist is your sheer indifference. When you communicate, I simply don't care about your choices, your sustenance, or whether you even exist, they find themselves defenseless. This level of apathy strikes at the very core of their ego, inflicting an agony they can scarcely endure. It matters little whether they initiated the discard. While they may initially revel in a sense of control, the denial of access to your social media narratives and the discovery of all avenues of contact being blocked can cause them profound torment. To witness you resurface on the digital stage, radiating an air of contentment and thriving, becomes an unbearable source of agony for them. In the intricate dance with narcissists, particularly those entwined within familial or shared parental responsibilities, the strategy of gray rocking often becomes a skillful tool. This technique involves treating the narcissist's behavior as inconsequential, essentially conveying the message that they hold minimal significance in your life. A mere fleeting thought or blip on the radar. This approach, while seemingly counterintuitive, can be remarkably effective. For a narcissist accustomed to being a primary source of attention and emotional supply, the concept of becoming inconsequential is anathema. When they shift their focus to a new source, the individual who once held their attention might suddenly regain a lure in their eyes. This seemingly incredulous scenario unfolds with alarming regularity as they may attempt to reestablish a connection mere weeks or even days into their new pursuits. However, what truly confounds narcissists is when emotional detachment becomes genuine. When you authentically cease to harbor concern for their actions or even their very existence, it becomes their kryptonite. Narcissists thrive on the emotional investment of others. It serves as the linchpin of their manipulative game. As a result, achieving true emotional detachment post-discard can be nothing short of devastating for them, disrupting their accustomed patterns and leaving them grappling with a profound loss of control. Maintaining an unyielding composure in the face of a narcissist's tactics is not just a defensive strategy. It's a powerful assertion of your autonomy. When you refuse to dance to their manipulative tunes, you reclaim the reins of your life. This steadfast stance serves as a reminder that your emotional well-being is non-negotiable, and it can prompt the narcissist to reevaluate their strategies. In the intricate game of manipulation that narcissists play, your composed response becomes a pivotal move. It disrupts their carefully constructed narrative and challenges their sense of control. This disruption can either intensify their efforts to regain dominance or force them into a retreat, grappling with the reality that their influence has waned. The concept of a narcissistic injury, triggered by your unwavering demeanor, is a significant aspect of understanding and managing interactions with narcissistic individuals. Sharing this insight can be a lifeline for those navigating such challenging relationships, offering them a strategic tool to regain their power. Remember, in the aftermath of dealing with a narcissist, your journey to healing and empowerment is a testament to your resilience. Encouraging others to stand firm in the face of manipulation is not just a valuable lesson, but also a beacon of hope. As you navigate this path, Consider supporting us with a nominal $1 contribution to access exclusive perks and sustain the creation of insightful content. Your support ensures that valuable insights continue to reach those who need them, fostering a community of strength and resilience.